Hello everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swishing tonight. I thought I would do a review, a lesson for this week. And the lesson is that when you're in a trade and you get a very, very large, big bar in whatever direction you're trading it, whether long or short, and we're gonna go over both examples here today. And if you're in a move and you're up a, really a lot of money and the stock is running, 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 into you in your direction into the close of the business day which is four o'clock let's and i'm using a day trade example but actually even if you're in an option it's the same principle uh for looking for your exit you never never want to miss your exit in a trade you always want to exit in a big fat fat bar of whatever day you're in the trade whether it's a day trade whether it's an option trade and even if you're in a swing trade, you really should consider taking a piece of it off into a big, fat, fat bar. Now, first we're gonna look at bullish bars. And again, this is a great lesson for everybody, lesson of the week. And to me, this is common sense. But Walmart had a massive, huge, gimongous bar on Thursday last week. So 11.16, stock gapped up, opened at 95.12, dropped, broke, ran up, almost got to 100 points of the stock price. So it had a $4 plus move on that day. Now, if you're looking at the chart here, again in Walmart, go back, back, back. There are no bars that look as big as the bar that happened on Thursday. So if you're in the stock long in Walmart on a day like this, you have to get out of it. You have to get out of it into the close for a day trade, for a swing trade, for an option trade, anything. Because the chances of that bar continuing after huge, 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 big, tremendous move in that day are very small. So again, common sense says to exit into the close of the day in a big, big bar. And if you're in a day trade, you've got to get out by four. And if you don't, if you carry the day trade overnight, which sometimes people do, you, you will end up flipping your margin which if you have a four to one day trading margin on a flip to two to one, you gotta be able to cover it into the next day. Or if you forget to get out or don't get out or don't manage your trade and you're in an a prop account, they may actually exit the trade for you. So you really gotta manage your trades heavily if you are an active day trader and you're trading on margin for a day trader, but it really doesn't matter. You should be watching on a day like this where the stock is running, 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 running with huge power in the right direction that you're in, which in this case was a long. And let's look at a short. And, I, and this is a great example because you know what? Stock didn't continue. Is the stock higher? Yes. Is it gonna go higher right away? The answer is no, not after a bar like happened on Thursday. Target was a terrific short, open and swooshed. This was last week, it's pulling it up here, was a short. So whether you shorted it as a day trade or did an option put, guess what? It, the exit was into the close if you held it. Went to the dream target, close to 54 bucks. 55 was a good number for this in the day. Had a huge bar. High of the day was 57.91, low was 54.04, almost a $4 bar. Again, huge move for the stock. Do you think it's gonna continue in the bigger picture? Of course. But the very next day down, when it closes the low, no, no. And it did not. Actually, it flipped and ran over the high of the gap in the last couple of days. Anyways, the point is you, you can't miss your exit on these things. When a stock is dropping, 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 and you're in a short, it has a big, fat, massive red bar and closes near the low, you got to exit that trade into the close. Whether it's a swing trade, option trade, some piece of the trade, or all of the trade, and if you're in a day trade, you really got to get out that day, you're going to be charged extra from the broker, like I said, depending on what type of account you have. If you're in a long and it rallies, rallies, rallies all day, you have a big, fat, huge, massive green bar in the day compared to the chart, compared to the average daily move of the stock on the day, which you have to look at every stock is different, and it's closing green and it's closing near the highs, you've got to take your exit on that day. So lesson of the week is do not miss your exit on trains. And lesson of the week is also when you have a big, fat, huge, massive move of the day in the stock and you're in it in the right direction, get out before the close. Get out before the close. The chances of it continuing the next day and having another huge, massive move the next day are so rare that it almost never happens. And if it does, it does. If you get out the day you're supposed to get out, you're still going to be up. So just get out. So that's the lesson of the day and the week.
Have a great day, everyone. If you're interested in more information on learning how to day trade gaps, email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com.